naar mij. Een driekoord, dat het van red me goed doe. He's been blubbering about how he couldn't go on living if something were to happen to you. We hadn't heard anything in so long. We tried tossing a calm sphere into the hole, but it didn't help one bit. Hey, it's still in beta. So what happened? Well, Lynn, huh? Yeah, the girl from the songstress dress sphere. That's Len? Sure. She wore that dress 1,000 years ago. Why didn't you tell us? No one asked. Besides, all I knew was her name. What's to tell? What Shinra said surprised me, but only a little. So there really was a connection. Okay, okay. So the reason Shu Yin keeps calling Yuna Len is... Because of that dress sphere? I can't really say for sure. Forget Lin! Shu Yin's the one who is wanting to vaporize Spira! Yeah, but what can we do? Nuge and Gipple are already planning something. Let them deal with it for now. Well, we've regained control, so I'd like to address something before we continue. I'm going to wait, in terms of Crimson Spheres, like, viewing these things, because we have... I was going to play one, and then we got two, and then three, and I feel it more appropriate that we play all of these once we have all of them. And I can just make a video of it, even the ones we've seen before, and then we can just make a video of, you know, the whole thing. That way it adds a little bit more to it. Uh, aside from that, the cutscene that happened when Yuna says she's all alone, and then a, a whistle from presumably Titus appears, and it helps her find her way back, uh, that's not... that's not natural. So, that only happens if you press the X button in the cutscene. You may say, that doesn't sound right, there's no problem, no, there's not. <laughs> like, they don't tell you at any point in the game, you just have to do it, and if you don't, you can't get the best ending in the game. I know, it seems insane. It is. I just assume it's a way to sell strategy guides. But either way, I think I had a strategy guide back in the day, so I knew to hit it. And, yeah, it's, it's weird, man. It's weird. But we finally have an idea of what our main antagonist is, which is uh, Shuyin. Yuni! Yuni! Yeah? You met Shuyin, right? Was he anything like you know who? Hmm. Not really. Just his face. Of course, at this point, most people can have a decent idea, because we were talking about it before, and it's what uh, Mei Chen mentioned before about everything going on, when he was talking about Titus and then saying, oh, everything happened a thousand years ago. And it's basically that Shuyin is the real version, the version that Titus is based off of, because the dreams of the faith in FF10 made Titus, because they made everyone who essentially you know, lived in Xanarkand. So that's the... This get... Titus is basically based off him. But they're different. M much different. I mean, one needs food and, and laughs a lot, and the other one's just... just evil and also possesses people. They gave me these. They say anything? No. I see. They're old friends. 
The three of them were candidates for the Crimson Squad, and I was the recorder assigned to their team. Yevon created the squad and started training members two years ago. It was supposed to be an elite fighting force. The best were to be assigned leadership of Crusader chapters across Spira, but... The squad was destroyed before that happened. Most of the candidates died. An accident. The four of us were separated then. Things happened. I don't get it. I was there. I saw everything. But still, I don't know why it happened that way, even now. So I went to look for some answers. You became a sphere hunter. I always did want to fly on this thing anyway. What you talking about? Or is it another one of those secrets? That's all right. I didn't want to know anyway. Too bad. And I was just about to tell you. Really? Too late now. Uh, weep, himo. <laughs> We used to laugh like this once, the four of us. I've been chasing my past for so long. Sometimes getting it back is all I can think about. Other times, I just want to forget. What about you? Shuyin isn't who you thought, is he? No. Maybe we should both let go of our past and focus more on what's to come. You're not leaving the gull wings! Always a possibility. So many things seem intertwined, but nothing leads to you. Why be a sphere hunter if what I'm hunting for can never be found? Alright, in hindsight... They really should uh, remove the appendages on characters' models that freak out whenever something's moving. Or at least take the physics out of them, because her little bead hair thing always freaks out. Like, everything freaks out. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's somewhat distracting. You're not leaving us, are you? I may not look it, but I am having a good time. Right! Right? <laughs> what about Yuna? Think she'll quit? Oh, blame Kahoot! Yet fro you got we, Yenret. Oh, what? Yuna! I hate to interrupt, but Spear is falling apart with its leaders missing. Check the comm spheres and see. What what do you do? <laughs> Why is he posing like a bird? Oh my god. Alright, real talk. I can't handle brother. Like this asinine dumb butt. Just flapping his wings like an idiot. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Yo, what's up, Shin? Wanna check the comm spheres? Uh, sure. So, what we're looking at now is what is known as the comm spheres. How this works is that throughout Chapter 3, you may have noticed that Shin was running around putting down, like, the old FFX spheres everywhere. This man has bugged the world. <laughs> and now we can just, like, look. So what I'm going to do is there's a lot of boring aspects of kind of waiting for stuff to happen here. So how this is going to work is I'm going to go through the areas and cut to the each part where something happens. Obviously, I'll commentate through that live, but uh, there will be a lot of cuts, I assume. Uh, there's a couple parts to this, but... Uh, I'm gonna hit up everything interesting that's going on with the comm spheres, because I believe one of them is required for, like, a... Like, a quest. Hey, it's whack. Hey, Yuna, how you been, huh? <laughs> Not too bad. 
How are things in Besaid, Waka? Don't act like this is normal, Waka. Pretty quiet, yeah? No more fiends in the temple. Really? That's what Becklam says, and he patrols the place every day. He's a dedicated man. Yeah, but he's gonna be leaving the island pretty soon. Youth League's having some trouble or something, so they call him back to headquarters. On top of that, word around here is the new Yevon Prager's gone missing. Not sure what it all means, but things don't look good, yeah? Yeah, it's a bit crazy all over. Listen, I don't know about the rest of Spira, but Besaid's in good shape. I got this place covered. It's that, or Lou will let me have it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just Thanks, gonna look at his crotch. Um. Oh God! We just went through a fat guy. Excuse me. Well, that's Killer Kapoor for you. Oh, thanks. From the moment Nuge disappeared, everyone's been running around in circles. Just look at them. No one knows what to do without someone barking orders at them. They've already started looking for a new leader. In fact, they even asked me. Figured a former summoner would make a perfect leader for the town. Why don't you? Too busy looking after myself, dear. Of course, I'll do what I can to keep things from getting too far out of hand. But until Nuge gets back, things are not going to be the same. Lady Yuna! Oh, God. Actually, we've received some unconfirmed reports of trouble brewing in Bavel. It seems a unit of New Yevon's troops have been gearing up for a raid. With Nuge gone, they're hoping to strike quickly and catch us off guard. But don't worry about us. We won't be so easily trapped. We're planning to launch a preemptive strike before they can attack. As soon as our preparations are complete, we move on Bavel. But you're not even sure they're planning an attack, are you? In war, victory favors the bold. I must be off. Farewell. Well. All right. Hello. Hmm. That person's going somewhere. Oh, it's Marota. What are you doing? What's up, well, bro? Well, for one, I'm running reconnaissance on New Yevon. The Praetor's gone. Fiends are on the loose. New Yevon is upside down. Fortunately, security is lax, so even Youth League members like me can walk around in the open. You there, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Took them long enough. So long. Looks like Nuge and Berlai still haven't come back. And now Gipple's vanished too. Spira's three leading big shots have all gone AWOL. If I was one of their followers, I'd be pretty worried and scared. Tension between the two groups is getting volatile. It won't be long before things get very ugly. And Vegnagun's on the loose. You can bet Shuyan's controlling that thing. I wonder if Gipple and the others are trying to destroy it. Who knows? You heard what Baralai said. Vegnagun activates when it senses hostility. If they try to get near it, it's likely to become even more dangerous. Oh, nothing makes sense anymore! I mean, just what the heck are we supposed to do? Nuj spoke to me on the far plane. He told me to take care of things topside. As if it were the simplest thing to do, really. And everything was going so well. At least, that's what I thought. I changed my mind. I want to do something. Nuge asked me to help, and that's what I'll do. Whack! Drake that you not drink. All righty! Let's smash that action figure! We'll risk our lives and protect Spira from Degnagar. No, I think there has to be something we can do besides fighting. Like what? With its leaders gone, Spira's falling apart. Maybe we can bring people back together. Yeah, yeah! Great idea there, Uni! So, like, what are we gonna do? Huh? 
Sing campfire songs. Oh, that is it. All of Spira will be the captive of you to sing and dancing. Great idea. <laughs> I can handle the techie stuff. H hang on. I know, I know. I bet Toby would help. Where is he now? The Moonflower. Gull wings. Move out! I began this journey hoping to find you. But I know now that may never happen. Still, I will keep walking these roads. I have to find where they connect. I have to see for myself. Would you like to check the comm spheres? The sphere waves keep pouring in. So, if you didn't think that Tobli was going to be integral to the main plot, you've been proven wrong. Yes, it is kind of dumb, but it's happened. When you fought Sin, everyone came together and sang the hymn of the faith. Remember? I sang too. At the time, my friends were scattered and I was alone. But during the hymn, for just a little while, I felt connected again. The hymn's pretty good. So, earlier I thought that was the large optional comm sphere thing. It wasn't. This is. <laughs> Those are the required ones. This is all optional, but why not? Let's have a look. I would love to do it. Show me this network. This will take a while. Is something wrong? Lately, a number of strange events have been occurring here on the high road. Our hover was destroyed. Also, the drone machina malfunctioned. I've launched an investigation, but clues have been hard to come by. Forgive me for asking at such a busy time, but might I request your help in this matter? I am relieved to hear it. With your help, the mystery will be solved in no time. But what should we do? I have placed a number of modified comm spheres along the high road for use in our investigation. Should you find anything suspicious, please report it to me. With that, I bid you good luck. So for this, we gotta find out some information for Rin. First off, we gotta go to the ruins. First off, we gotta go to the ruins. Ooh. I like how he just pops up. I found a Machina. Uh, let's go to New Road. will yield the clues we need. Alright. Well, at least we got some info there.
Oh! Wow. Well, there's not as many chocobos, so you gotta have to find something to eat. Well, look, they're just going. Okay, now they faded away. Are we? Investigation will yield the clues we need. This is the dumbest detective game ever. Oh, yeah, this guy. You're done, son. I believe it is all starting to fall into place. I will handle the rest of the investigation and think more on this evidence. I am grateful for your help, Lady Yuna. Oh, no. Where's LeBlanc? Boss ain't here. Yep. She just up and left. Went out looking for clues to what happened to Nuge. Logos is out looking for her now. You guys don't know anything, do ya? Well, I'm sorry, but we haven't heard a thing. Well, if you find anything, you let me know. We were all sleeping quite happily when we had a peculiar dream. During our sleep, the faith did speak. Spear shakes, churns and spins. A fearsome power lies within. Now it's gone and sucked us in. This horrid dream, what could it mean? The faith that protected Spira are not immune to the forces of destruction. These woods, too, will perish. And we along with them. Oi. Hello, oh Walker at your service. How's the shop doing? Well, uh, um, not so good, really. Um, nothing but fiends around here. Hardly see any customers at all. But I decided to stand by me shop, and stand by me shop I will. Just you watch. I'll be bigger than Vin. All the travel agencies in Spira will be operating under the name of Owaka. All right, let's do a Tobley hunt. No time for detours. Huh? Yikes! Sorry, must have dropped you off at the wrong place. As long as you're there, why not take a little stroll?
Alright, let's go find Tobley. Hey, you! You haven't seen Tobley anywhere around here, have you? Yeah! We have word that he's somewhere nearby. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that these are debt collectors. It's gonna be a good day. Where'd it go? Not gonna attempt to run ah, now. That obnoxious midget found him. <laughs> oh, jeez. A little offensive. Just because the show's a flop don't mean nothing, man. I could I could give him a loan of maybe twenty gil or so. I think that I think I can swing that if he's having issues here. Where'd that little ball of pudge learn to run like that? I'm beat. We can't keep up. Come back here, you beak-faced fraud! Well, Toby's fighting an entire party of dudes and already took out the first one. Not gonna lie, I can't believe that this is occurring. It's like, dude, we, we need to destroy Begnagon and we need to... We need to stop the fighting around the world and take care of Spira. But first this. It's just one step, man. Every good journey begins with one step to fuck over some deck collectors. Let's head this way. Uh, I should also speak about the comps here. Yeah, no. Nope. Can't say I've seen him. He must still be on the south bank. Go take another good look. Oh, yes, sir. But uh, I screwed up the comm spheres and I didn't put them everywhere. So we did miss some stuff. So my sincerest apologies about that. But uh, we're not doing 100%. And that's pretty much the worst part of the 100% run right there. The, where the hell's Tobley? Well, let's run back and... Oh, did he go on this little side part? There's a little side part right here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Can't you guys afford at least one, like, Machina cycle or something so you can, like, ram his ass and then take his money? Oh, he stole it! Oh, man. Life is just hell. Hey, guy, do you want some water? You, you'll get... Oh, you're fading away. I think he's dead. Oh, I think he faded away there. What? 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 Oh. Oh, my God. Look at these high pillow. They're, like, more like high pillow. Um. I'm glad you're still in shock. I wish they actually didn't do the sh with the shock, so it's like, I'm shilling sock. He says Tobley crossed the moon flow. Follow on 
Yes. Or I'm sorry. Yes. Ride the shoe pop. All aboard. Somewhere. You don't suppose he climbed into one of them trees, do you? Gonna chase this guy all the way to Guado Salam? Oh, uh, you're done. Well, looks like. Yeah, look, looks like Tobley won out on that one. Let's go meet up with him. He should be up here. Hi, hi. What can I do for you? What brings you here? Well... Spectacularly spectacular! T'will be a yummy Unipalooza indeed! T'will go down in history! I most definitely, definitely want to arrange it. Can I, can I? Yep, yep! A minor detail, where oh where should it be? Well, the more people we can gather together, the better. Aha! Uh -huh. Then how about the Thunder Plains? Yes! You could practically pack a plethora of people in that place. Now, how do we get people to come? Simple, simple, leave it to me. My power PR team will push it pronto. Oh, boys! No. Excuse me. Is our specialty. We'll get you your spectators. Are you sure about this? Brother's orders. Bring every last Hypello back with you. Was this even that hard of a fine? I'll play it, but I don't feel good about it. Oh god, I played it twice, sorry. We're over the calm lands now. You ready to go? Grab everyone you see! We do not want anyone in spirit of business! Leave it to us! Will they be alright? Be back in a jiffy, sister! I'm hypnotized. You've got guts. All right, next stop. What are you up to? A project. I'm engineering a giant sphere screen for this stage. That way, even people way in the back will be able to see you. Your invention? <laughs> Not to mention, we're still picking up lots of waves through the comm spheres. Nice work. <laughs> All the high pillow have been deployed. A food, baby! <laughs> the tons and crowns! Wanna check the comm spheres? Alright, let's check these comm spheres to see what the rest of the optional stuff we could, you know possibly check out without you the house seems so empty i can't bear it i wake up each morning but 
without seeing your face. It's as though the day hasn't really begun. So please, please, come home, Bartello. This is so not me. Come to the concert? You. You did not see anything. I didn't see a thing. Oh, it's you. You've probably heard, but I've been called back to Youth League headquarters. It is a shame, though, having to leave Besaid in the hands of slackers. Besaid will be fine. Walk us there to keep an eye on things. <laughs> Small consolation. If you ask me, his brother was ten times the man Waka is. You knew Chapu? We fought in the Crusaders together. He always talked about Waka. Said, my brother's the greatest person in Spira. Imagine my surprise to find out the legendary Waka's nothing more than a wishy-washy wimp. There were so many things I'd wanted to talk to Waka about, but not anymore. Things? What kind of things? Memories. Well, that's enough chit-chat. I need to get ready to leave. So you're having a concert, huh? Yeah, you can come if you like. Sounds nice. Everybody singing with everybody else just like two years ago. Back then, we was working for those Yevon creeps. Me and Logos was forced to do all their dirty work. <sighs> those were bad times. But then, when you went to fight Sin, and we all sang the hymn of the faith, we could tell a new age was about to begin. It was magical. Bring some of that magic back to Spira again. I know you can do it. I won't let you down. I've never actually seen that scene before. What a bro. What a bro. Bro me. Yeah, that's your name now. Bro me. And probably Logos as well. Brogos. I just want to call him Brogos. That and I want LeBlanc to be a bro so I can call her, uh, Brablanc. Brablanc. What a fucking terrible name. Whatever, it's fine. You know. Hello. The Hypello told me the news. You're having a concert? Using the power of song to unite Spira. Is that it? I know you can do it. Or rather, you're the only one of us who could do that. Good luck, Yuna. Using Machina to talk like this still doesn't feel right to me. Working with Sid, I did get used to the idea, but I have my doubts. Maroda often laughs at me and says I'm behind the times. We talked with Maroda using one of these. He's in Bevel. Bevel? Really? But how is Bevel these days? It's not looking too good. They can't find anyone to lead in place of Baralite. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to push some of their problems on you, High Summoner. Well, what would they expect me to do? I had no idea things had gotten so bad. Thank you for telling me. I wonder what I'm supposed to be protecting. 